Nick Saban and Alabama have won seven straight against Ole Miss. Here's Saban on the latest victory. That's the big thing that we wanted to get our players to get back to is, um, you know, you're responsible for the identity that you create. And it's personal in terms of how you play and how you compete in the game to try to dominate the guy you're playing against. And I saw a lot of that in the second half, so we took a step in the right direction. Uh, we had to overcome a lot of adversity in the game. We didn't get off to a great start. Um, but the players just kept playing one play at a time and made the plays in the end of the game that we needed to make. End of the game that we needed to make. So uh, Jason McClellan. Offensive line stepped up in the second half. Defense had some big stops. They only scored once in the second half. Got to stop when we needed to. So um, thought Bryce did a really good job of managing the game today. Um, you know, it was a tough night in a lot of ways, but a great night for us uh, because I think we took a step in the right direction as a football team, and I'm really proud of our guys for the way they competed in the game. Questions? What up front, Joe? Uh, Coach, uh, Byron Young had 11 tackles, two multiple sacks. Just how important was he? Byron played great. Um, Mississippi guy. So, you know, I'm sure he was fired up for the game, but I thought he played great. But he's played really rough for us all year. He's a good leader on the team. It means a lot to him. Um, and glad to see him doing well. Yeah, we, we didn't see Jameer in the second half. Was there a reason behind that? Uh, he twists his ankle. Well, I mentioned, you know, what a great job he did in the second half. He made some physical runs, a run he made on second and 12. I mean, he basically did that on, you know, grit and determination. R really ran hard in the game, played physical. He's played well for us all year. Jameer's just played really well, too. So Jay stepped up tonight and took advantage of it, no, no doubt. Yeah, oh, he's a good player, and um, you know they're they're tough when they spread you out with four wide receivers and they run the ball so well and they have such good backs. And he's he's a outstanding player, fast, physical, can make you miss, hard to tackle, and you got to try to stay in nickel. You can't play dime because you can't stop the runs and you can't really match up on the passes. So one of the things that happened in the second half that helped us when we got some third down stops is. We stopped the run a few times. We got third and long so we could play dime, so we could match up on the passes and got a couple sacks and got off the field on third down, which was huge in the game. What was the spark that Kendrick Law provide when you kind of put him in in the third quarter? Kendrick Law has really come along. You know, he's he's a guy we really were hope was hopeful that would be a contributor. Uh, he pulled his hamstring, you know, several weeks ago, was out for a couple weeks. But now he's back to full strength. He played really well on special teams a couple weeks. And um, I thought he did a really good job. But he's a guy we've been trying to get in the lineup now for some time. What was the message you delivered to the offense after that fourth down play early in the game? And how did things change after that? Well, it wasn't a real good message. Um, <laughs> you know, obviously a miscommunication on the snap count, the play, the shift, the motion. But I think those kinds of things. Um, you know, when you talk about, you know, sometimes you just got to do simple things better. You know, simple things like focusing on doing your job, focusing on the snap count, focusing on who you're blocking, focusing on what your eye control is in terms of what you're looking at. You got to do simple things better. And that was the message that I gave to the team before the game. And they obviously got it, you know, right then when we we're not doing simple things very well. So, um, but I think the offense really responded, especially in the second half. I was really, really pleased with the way they respond on the line of scrimmage to be able to run the ball effectively and uh, to make plays on third down when we needed to and move the ball, control the ball, um, and control field position in the game. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.